Histology labs often deal with soft specimens that process and cut easily like skin, liver, stomach, breast, and other soft tissues. But what happens when we get tougher specimens like bone or nails? To properly process and cut these harder samples, histotechs sometimes need to take extra steps to get a high quality slide for diagnosis. Today, we're testing a few different methods for softening nail specimens to see which gives us the best results during micronomy. We're comparing EDTA decalcification, low Lotion, nair, and a control nail with no extra treatment. To start the experiment, we first took the nail specimens through standard tissue processing steps. We began with grossing, which in this case just meant placing the nail specimens directly into cassettes at the grossing station. Normally, we would cut larger specimens into smaller pieces, but since nails are already tiny, they were ready to go straight into the cassette. After grossing, we fixed the specimens in formalin overnight. This step is essential to preserve the tissue structure and prevent damage during during processing. Once fixation was complete, we rinsed the cassettes in water for about five minutes. The lotion, nair, and untreated samples moved on to processing right away. But for the EDTA decal sample, we made a quick stop at the bone station. We placed the cassette into the bone station and added mold decalcifier, our unbuffered EDTA solution, until it covered the top of the cassette. Then we closed the lid and started the decalcification process. The stir bar in the beaker kept the solution moving and the heated plate underneath helped speed things up. This run took about five hours. When softening bone, the time needed can vary depending on the density of the sample. Some specimens can take days or even weeks at room temperature. Adding heat and using a system like Bone Station speeds up the process significantly. Five hours later, we removed the cassette from the Bone Station and rinsed it for a few minutes, and then we added it to the rack with the rest of the nail specimens. Next, all the specimens were processed using a xylene-free protocol on our Magnus tissue processor. After processing, we cleaned the racks with Histosmate, embedded the nails in paraffin on our Histodream EW embedding center, and moved on to testing the softening methods. We applied lotion and nair to their respective cassettes, let them sit for about five minutes, then wiped them clean and placed them face down in an ice bath before sectioning. Finally, it was time to cut and compare how each method performed. Here's what we found. No treatment produced a decent section at micronomy. EDTA decal before processing did not show noticeable improvement in cutting. Lotion applied after facing cut better than both untreated and decal samples, and Nair applied after facing cut the best overall. So there you have it. Out of the four options we tested, Nair gave us the best results. Here's a look at the nail specimens under the microscope after staining. Come back for part two where we'll test other softening solutions like hand soap and laundry detergent. And if you have a suggestion you'd like to see tested, leave it in the comments.